Before we get to the video, I just want to talk to anyone out there right now. If you're watching, you're currently feeling, for whatever reason, sad, you know, depressed, unmotivated. I know life can throw curveballs at you at any moment. So I just wanted to let you know, if you're watching right now, that it can and it will get better after a real nice cowbell groove. What's happening? Beatdown Brown here, aka Lando Cowbellion. And this video is going to be fun, man. I realized after 500 some videos I got on this channel, I never showed y'all what you can do with a cowbell. And let me tell you something. Nothing can fill a dance floor or rock an arena better than a really nice cowbell groove. So today I got five, just five, five to show you. These are going to be relatively easy to learn because they're all eighth note bass. One and two and three and four and. Pretty simple, right? So I'm going to play each one of these and slow them down, maybe break them apart a little bit so you can see what's going on. There will be a downloadable free PDF in the description box so you can go ahead and practice these on your own time. But yeah, these are fun, man. I pulled out my LP Ridge Rider cowbell for this. I don't know if you've ever seen this one before. This is one of the most popular cowbells on the market. If you don't have one, there's a link in the description box where you can get one. I'm a Sweetwater affiliate. That'll take you straight over there. Get one for yourself. But as for right now, we're going to get to it. Grab your bell, grab your sticks, jump on your kit, and check these out.
So there you go, y'all. Five dance floor filling, arena bumping cowbell grooves that you can add to your vocabulary. You might have seen while I was playing some of these that I was working the left foot, just stomping out the quarters. I'm not going to say that it's required, but it's a good thing to work up to, even if just for the coordination. Now, if you're new to the world of cowbells, you want to add one to your kit. It's my experience that open-handed is the way to go. So if you're a right-handed drummer, anywhere from here, this way will be most comfortable for you to play it. So you can put it in place of your second tom or somewhere, you know, between your toms or over your floor tom, whatever. Doesn't make any difference. Um, no matter where you want to put it, Gibraltar is the king of clamps. So they got one pretty much for every occasion. So wherever you want to put it on your kit, there's a clamp for it. Other than that, that's it. So drop a comment below. Let me know which one of these fives is your favorite, which one you're going to add to your next set list. New viewers, new subscribers, welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you know when the next video is coming out. Subscribe button. Boom. Make sure you mash that before you bounce. Share this video if you dig it. Like. Subscribe. See you next video.